Hey, I'm here. Oh, wow. This place is totally out there. So, like, now what? So as you can see, you're going to come across all this information for Flu, Piccolo, and all the other members of the Woodwinds. Um, on the left-hand side, you'll see some information to read, a picture of the instrument. On the right, you can listen to the themes and variations, check out the mouthpieces. Remember to scroll up and down to read all the information. And at the end, you're going to click Play Game to then find a way to then get each instrument captured so you can bring it to the orchestra. Here. In the trees with the birds. So now we're here. How Here's cute. the mini game to get flu and piccolo. Them down. Perhaps you can invite them down out of the tree by making a sound like they do. You mean by blowing across some kind of mouthpiece? So you can have a chance to um, capture these by blowing across a mouthpiece in the game. And there'll be a couple different options that you can try. Like I saw in the book? That's the ticket. Do you have anything else you could use? Hmm. What do we have here? A blade of grass, a straw, a big bottle, and a small bottle. Which of these would I blow across? What do you guys think? Oh, that didn't work. Oh, but a bottle worked. A larger bottle help me. I did it. Hop on in. So now we have the flute hey, piccolo. Wait a minute. There's something else here. Stickers. Ah, uh, the instrument stickers. Hold on to them, my juniper berry. You'll be placing them on the orchestra seating chart once you have collected all the rest of the woodwind fa So now we're on oboe. You'll get a chance, same thing, to look at the picture, learn about the mouthpiece, to listen to the theme and variations, and then go to the play game when you're ready. So oh, I found that if I clicked I with the, the mouse on the oboe, I was able to get it to come to shore. I, guess the first I didn't have to do anything special, just try to click back. on the oboe to get its attention. I can get him. It's not very easy, but it's doable. So you try a few times, you'll get it. Maybe you'll have an easier time than I did. As you can see in the in the reads, there are three different reads to pick from. So which one's it going to be? Figure out which one it is, and then you'll have uh, captured the oboe. That wasn't so hard. Where to next, Uncle Al? Well, my clever carnation, turn the page and find out. Same deal. Make sure you check out the picture of it, read the information, go ahead, listen to the theme and variations on the right-hand side of the page, check out the interesting information about the holes, and then eventually, when you're ready, click play game. It's tangled in the pond weeds. All of its holes are covered, and it's making a very low sound. I wonder, if I uncover the holes in the right order... You'll make the tube shorter, the pitch higher. And the clarinet will rise out of the water. Okay, I'm going in. So I start by clicking on the lowest weed to get the lowest hole uncovered. And then the next... What happens if I get the top hole? Oh! <laughs> I guess I skipped a hole or two. Yes, I skipped a hole or two. Try it again. Lowest hole to highest hole. Phew. Glad that's all untangled. So now what? So now it's on to the last of our woodwinds, the bassoon. Hey, Uncle Ollie, the bassoon is the lowest sounding one yet. So same deal with bassoon. Check out the pictures, check out the things that you click on, and then you're going to go figure out how to rescue a bassoon from the wild. Out of the mouths of hippos. This is a little tricky, but definitely doable. As you can see, I'm clicking one click at a time, and it's not really doing anything. You're going to need to double click. And don't worry, the pieces don't go away. So if you see a piece and then it disappears under the water with the hippo, it will come back. They're all there. So they're a little tricky. Let's see if I can snag one. There we go. There's another. I bet you can get all of these no problem. All right, all 
already. But first, let me put the stickers in my book. And now, time for the stickers. Here's the page. Let's see where they go. They have a particular place to go on the um, orchestra seating chart. I'll do piccolo first. That's the smallest one. So put piccolo. it where you think it goes and basically again. just go by size. Piccolo. And once you've done all of them, there you are. Nice job, everyone. Next week, we'll get to move on to the strings. I hope you had fun with the woodwinds today at Woodwind Pond. Bye-bye.